Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? It's a new year. Are you ready to revise a new version of yourself? I know I am. It's time. It is time to shift your focus in 2023. You want to, it's time for us to shift our focus from trying to change other people and instead focus on making yourself feel better in 2023. So stick around because I'm going to share with you 10 quick tips to protect your vibe. Yes, y'all, who's on here? So yes, y'all, so I've been doing some lives here and there and um, just uploading them to my different platforms. So um, you might find, if you follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, sometimes I have the same content and sometimes I'll kind of switch it up and change it up. So uh, yes, I just wanted to make mention of that. So let's get right into it. So here's the 10 tips I wanna share with you really fast. One is avoid gossip and drama. Two, let go of things you cannot control. Three, you want to avoid comparing yourself to others in 2023. Four, keep your faith larger than your fears. All right. And then five, you want to don't do anything that doesn't feel right. If it doesn't feel right, don't even do it. Just leave it alone. Six, don't be afraid to spend some time alone. Seven, speak kindly to yourself and then you'll start speaking kindly to other people. Eight, please yourself before trying to please others. Nine is spend less time with people who drain your energy. You'll know because you'll feel drained in your spirit. Ten, ignore any options that doesn't enhance your life. Now, Let's talk about the value of self-care, which is really what this video is all about, okay? Self-care is one of those words that therapists tend to use a lot. It is generally referred to as taking care of your own emotional well-being. And a lot of us really need to do that. Who can agree? Self-care works on two different levels, though. The first level is the obvious, which is it allows you to take care of yourself so you can nurture yourself. And then the second level, it subconsciously sends you the message that you deserve to be taken care of, which can also help increase your self-esteem. It's going to help increase your own self-worth, and it also increases your happiness. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about why self-care is so important. Okay, a lot of people are talking about self-care, and so now I'm going to talk about self-care. Self-care means taking the time to do the things that help you live well and improve both your physical and your mental state, okay? So by improving your physical health, you wanna improve your physical health, you'll be better able to maintain your mental health, which was, you'll notice you'll naturally, for some reason, you'll just naturally feel a little happier, okay? your countenance will start to glow. And so therefore, that may be more effective in supporting you on, in how you care about you, okay? Exercising regularly is always mentioned as an important part of staying both physically and mentally healthy, but most of us, most people, uh, you know, really aren't really that fond of working out regularly. So it tends to be something hard for most people to do. But taking care of yourself is just simply realizing that you're also important, okay? It can mean, it, it means not to unnecessarily and constantly ignore your own needs and the things that make you feel good. So it can be best described as you're helping others by helping yourself first, okay? So your physical appearance, your physical appearance is a very great way to start. You want to find a few simple ways to improve your physical appearance and give your self-esteem a major boost in the process. So you can change your hair. You can drink a lot of water. You know, dehydration, may I make mention, is a major cause of bad physical appearance. A lot of people are dehydrated. Their skin is dehydrated. You got to get enough sleep, 
A lot of people aren't getting enough sleep. You know, you can hide your flaws if you have any, but that's not always good. I mean, some things stand out more when you try to hide them, right? You can eat healthier as a physical tactic. You can smile more. And please know that there's nothing shallow or materialistic in wanting to improve your own appearance. We should all be doing this, okay? Taking care of yourself can, uh, and your physical appearance can greatly improve your confidence. And, and then it's going to naturally improve your mental health, um, so any social anxiety, and it's also a wonderful kind of self-care. I think it's real crazy and selfish, okay? What I think is real selfish is when people will make you think and feel that there's actually something wrong with wanting to improve yourself. Some people go into a depression, a slight depression, or maybe have had some life triggers happen, and it may take them a minute, but you want to be concerned about people who maybe take a while but don't ever bounce back. Now, that's when it becomes a problem. But, of course, we all have our own times and our own moments. So, by all means, go at your own pace and do you. But they always try to teach the, this thing the other way around where you're supposed to take care of your mental health first and all this other crap while neglecting your physical appearance and that's asshole backwards like you're supposed to take care of your physical appearance you want to groom yourself maybe do whatever it is that you can do to bring yourself back and then you'll naturally feel some of these other things begin to fall into place naturally okay so never let nobody f make you feel like it's wrong for wanting to improve yourself okay like why would you not want to try and look better if you are in your right mind okay it teaches you how to love yourself more that's all it does it's about the way you can improve your appearance with a self-loving mindset. So you can feel a, you know, a more positive change in your life within yourself. It's going to boost your self-esteem and even the relationship that you have with yourself. You can get facials. There's all kinds of stuff that you could do, okay? And once you become more physically attractive, everything else seems to be a lot easier. And one of my personal self-care routines is personal grooming. I learned it when I was in cosmetology school. You know, basically what you do is you just focus on the things that makes you feel better. I don't care if it's washing your hair. You know, what I do um, is, besides physical grooming, I like to write, you know, to get a peace of mind. You know, wash my hair again and, and buy things for myself when I have the extra cash because it helps me feel like I'm being a better ver version of myself. You may have your own, your own way of doing things. You know, you can lose weight. You can gain some weight if you feel like you're th too thin, if you don't like your size or whatever. There's plenty of things you could do. But, of course, please focus on looking healthy and not just skinny and stuff like that or like you're on drugs. But take good care of your hair. Get some new styles something or something, you know, whether you're a guy or a girl. You know, there's plenty of things that <clears throat> you can do for your own self-care. But the main thing is never, ever let anyone at all make you feel like this is a sin. <laughs> Don't let nobody make you feel like that because it's not. In fact, God wants you to look and feel your best. OK, you got to take more walks with nature if you have to get outside. You can even implement some more fruits and vegetables into your diet because everybody's eating fast food and nature is, has a way of being able to heal your hair, heal your skin, heal your body. You have to take care of the body that you live in. We all do. So try eating, you know, getting up early is a good thing too. You can get up an hour earlier from the day before that you got up because this will also help you get more sleep in at night, you know, um, especially if you don't like to take naps. You may not like to take naps, you just never get a chance to nap. For example, if you woke up today at like 9 a.m., you could try waking, making a goal to get up an hour earlier the next day, maybe 8 a.m., you know, and that'll cause you to get more sleep, you know. Um, getting enough sleep is important because it's the best time for your whole body to restore itself, including your skin, your muscles, and your hair, believe it or not, but it's all interconnected. So you want to find some quality vitamins as well. If you can't get the sleep that you need, get vitamins that actually work and just take them every day or anytime you can remember to take them. You know, if you're a lady, 
you can rethink your makeup and your skincare products that you don't really need. You know, maybe get rid of some, include some, stop covering up so much of your beauty and just enhance your best features. There's different things you could do. Smile again because it makes you feel better and it helps you look more attractive to other people. It brings a happier tone, you know. Uh, for physical, again, you can just invest in like some high quality jeans maybe that last. You know, um, a lot of people are into the purses. I'm really not, but there's a few accessories that can make you smile. When you look at them, you get them, right? Fellas, you can make it a habit to use some chapstick every day. It's winter time. Keep those lips nice and soft and moist because your lips are happier and smoother when they're not dry. <laughs> and at the same time, like, Ladies, again, you can get you some really nice lip gloss. Just stay moist. You know, make sure your skin's hydrated. Drink a lot of water because it hydrates your skin and it helps your body stay healthy. You flush out the toxins throughout the day. You also want to take care of your nails regularly because they're your personal accessories. The first thing people notice are your hands. You don't want just some hardened stuff on your fingers. Make sure they're groomed. You don't have sausage Susie looking fingers. If you're a lady, I mean, try to grow your nails out. They've got stuff out there that helps. Okay. If you need to, um, you can also work on healing your skin conditions like acne issues with maybe getting some quality skincare products because it'll make your skin um, pretty and healthy and all, you know, moisturized. Stress hormones can make you look really tired. So what you want to do is like even meditate daily, you know, to help lower those stress hormones down and never, ever, ever, ever forget about the importance of shower and basic hygiene, which is the foundation of health and good looks. Always keep your skin nice and clean. It helps revive your senses in a really good way. And plus you smell fresh all day, right? You wanna spend time looking for the bright perfume scents that fit your personality, um, that make you feel more confident, doesn't run people off. And it makes you feel more attractive, okay? Always try to exfoli exfoliate your face and your body with exfoliating cleansers to help your skin breathe and restore itself. Clearer skin will thank you with a beautiful glow, <laughs> right? And again, back to the weight. Losing some weight can help your face look more structured too. You know, you'll get a more emphasized look in your features when you lose some weight that's not supposed to be there. You can whiten your teeth if you want your smile to be even brighter. They've got all kind of teeth whitening stuff out there. Just tell yourself daily that you are beautiful every day because you are. Even when you don't feel like it, you have to reassure yourself at some point in time and say, hey, I could do this. I am somebody. Um, so speak positive affirmations to yourself. Um, just reassure yourself if you, you know, if you're feeling low right now. Um, a lot of people just celebrated the holidays and stuff past. And I know some people can be feeling down around this time of the year. Believe it or not, after spending all the money on holidays and gifts and partying and stuff and trying to recruit all that money and then catch up with bills and stuff. So it can be a pretty slow month. And so what you want to do is just find ways to speak positively to yourself or surround yourself with people who will lift you up, whether it's a spouse, your your mate, a family member who's positive. You're, it could be someone your business partner, um, a mentor, as long as they're positive, you know, um, that's a good thing to do to keep your spirits up. Um, because a lot of people, like I said, they can be feeling pretty unease sometimes with the transition of going back to work from holiday vacationing and stuff like that. A lot of birthdays just went past. So you have to find ways to lift yourself and take care of your own emotional well-being, right? So then you, um, back to the skin though, you can wash your pillowcases regularly to prevent breakouts and, and it'll help you sleep more comfortably because the smell of the soap and stuff and the cleanliness will make you feel really relaxed. And make sure your hair is always clean if you can and just and stay, keep it brushed and that you're using the hair products that your hair loves. Don't use stuff just because you want to use it. Make sure your hair loves it. 
If your hair is reacting to it in a good way, then you know you're on to something, right? And some of us are just putting a lot of crap in our stuff. We're putting a lot of stuff in our hair in and not at all. And your hair is not really even liking it. It's like, this ain't it. So you have to try to find products that work for you, okay? And then you want to also try to try your best to eat as healthy and as clean as possible. Your body always needs the nutrients to stay healthy and healthy is very pretty. It's, it's a good thing. It will reflect from the inside out. Apply good eye cream every morning if you need to to help your eyes wake up with you. Eye cream, a lot of people think it's for other stuff, but eye cream can actually be put on as soon as you get up. And when you feel tired, and I think I'm gonna start doing this myself, it'll help you, it'll help your eyes feel more awake with you. You know, and, and, and it's also known to prevent dark circles and reduce that cute little eye puffiness that none of us like when we get up. So I'm gonna start trying that too. You know, you just have to do consistent work. You can't just do it one or two times and say, hey, this ain't working. You have to be consistent. It has to be literally a part of your routine. You know, you could play around with different products out there to find out what your signature look is, you know, the one that fits you and they fit you perfectly and it's suitable for everyday, everyday use. So work on preventing wrinkles as you, you know, fine lines as the seasons change, other signs of aging while you're still young. It's okay to keep a youthful appearance as long as you can. You know, just make it a habit to use stuff that helps you out. Our skin and our bodies need the help, okay? Especially in the environment that we live in. So just make it a habit to use like some face masks. Once or a few times a week, you can get a face mask for hydration or for your own self-care time. They got lots of over-the-counter stuff. You can find good stuff at different stores out there. But whatever you do to improve your looks, do it gently. Do it with love and do it with self-compassion. Start your beauty routine and your self-love journey today. There's no reason to spend another day hating the way you feel, hating the way you look, and limiting yourself with your own negative self-talk and your own negative self-image. You can always pick it up and increase it whenever you want. You can really thrive in, in your life, all of us, no matter what your age is. You have to do the work using your own self-love, your own self-care, your own self-worth to emphasize and enhance your own natural beauty. And remember that nothing ever changes unless you make an effort to change it. You have to make the effort. So stop being lazy. You got to stop sitting around in front of that TV. You got to get up and go at it and get to work on yourself. Stop expecting someone else to take care of the things that you can actually do for yourself. Now, people can help you do it, but you got to get the ball going. You got to get up and get things in motion. You got to fold those clothes and do stuff around the house. Some of y'all have just completely given up on you. And I'm just like, why? I mean, we all can feel like that. We can all at some point feel like giving up and we just don't want to keep going. But some of y'all have just really completely given up on yourself. And you have to say, why? Somehow you look, you know, is the way you see the world. The way you look is the way you see the world around you. And it's important for you to realize that when you look good and feel attractive, your whole life is influenced in a positive way. You'll feel the shift. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't feel quite satisfied with what you see, then that just simply means that you have a lot more work to do on yourself. It should be a non-compromising journey for you. It should be non-compromisable. So invest in yourself and recognize that there's value in self-care. And I'm gonna have to wrap this up. I'm so that glad that you watched this video. Don't forget to sign up if you wanna join me in Vita Divina to start your beauty, I'm sorry, your beauty improvement goals and your routines right away and start living a design life. We have training available to you and an easy step-by-step -step guidance on how to get signed up. And for those of you who may not be interested in the, in the uh, marketing, network marketing, which is something that we all do naturally every day, by the way, 
and maybe it's because it's just not a good time for you. It's not a good fit for you. And that's OK. But you may be interested in maybe starting your own drop shipping Internet marketing business. You may want to do, a, uh, you know, where you can just post products online and make money. Either way it goes, contact me and I will get you in with no hidden fees. There's no background checks to worry about. All you have to do is just be sure to read the disclaimer in the descriptions on our websites in our comments. That's all you have to do. We have disclaimers for all opportunity involved okay so let's go that's the end of this video you guys you're my best friend i hope these tips help you they help me as well please believe i do try to take my own advice and anything that i talk about in these videos you can please believe i am also practicing those same health and wellness tips okay so don't forget to follow and subscribe to my channel okay candrea tv for more lessons on ways that you can make money online, on how you can build an audience online, personal development, productivity hacks, life hacks, stuff like that, vlogs. Go ahead and click the link now, sign up and get started. If you wanna start making money on the internet, get this ATM money, go to earnwithcandrea.com, sign in with a valid email and let's get you going, baby. I'll see you on the other side. Till next time. Bye.